Yeah. Oh, I don't notice that. Yep, yeah, it's snapped. I'm Ben. I'm Emily. And this is our fairy friend Alan. We all live full time on board our 56 foot narrowboat. Join us on our travels as we explore the UK canals and rivers. Emily's tired and I've got work to do, packing and such, so we're having a bit of a quick dinner. A naughty dinner. Some might call it a naughty dinner. <laughs> and we just discovered these hash brown waffles. So we're having waffles, and burgers in a bun. <laughs> we're having them all. In your you want seven well. waffles? You could put two in your burger. There's no space in the freezer, that's what I mean. Oh dear. All right, four each. I want two, I think. Right, you want two. <laughs> I can't believe you were about to do nine mm. waffles. I don't know if I want three or four. Have what you want, but I only want two. You can have as many as you like. I might <laughs> have four, I'm so sorry. Oh, all right, then I'll have three. <laughs> oh yeah. So while Emily's looking for her shoes, I'll tell you what we're up to now. We're nipping to B&Q to get some overalls and de-ionized water. We're getting overalls because we had to throw our last ones away after we blacked the boat ourselves last year. And we're getting deionized water because our batteries are the type of batteries that you need to top up every now and again. And I was reminded the other day that we need to check them because we haven't topped them up in quite some time. I'm going to have a go at cleaning the aluminium plate floor of the stern. Yeah, we've had a lot of good tips, so we're going to see how we get on today. You're right there, Billy. <laughs> so this might be an improvement for the edging that surrounds the underneath of the aluminium plating. We're not sure if, on the stir, we're not sure if what we have there isn't, isn't good enough to stop rainwater from getting into the engine bay. What are you looking for? <laughs> Deionized water and clearance, second pounds. Oh man, it's massive. Wait, should I get one? <laughs> what size is that? Large. That's alright, isn't it? Put it over everything I've got on. And then when I want to go smart back in my suit, I'd just still be walking and just zip it off and leave it behind like that. I like that you can be dressed like that underneath it as well. Straight into the embassy. It's quite good that it's big. Oh yeah, whoa. <laughs> I do feel like a jellyfish in it. Seven quid, there's two left. It's meant to be, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Good. When we're doing stuff on the boat, we're always trying to find like really specific nuts and bolts and screws and stuff and I think being q do like a pick and mix for screws and bolts so I'm trying to find that pick and mix just at the pick and mix yeah I always end up using ones like that get it get it in Any catching on everything? Say, <sighs> he is pleased. Thank you too. We have the deionized water. I'm going to have a look at the batteries and see if they need some of it in there. There's three leisure batteries, one starter, so we can look at the level. And what I've read is if the water is below the level of the metal, then it needs topping up. So I am going to put some in there. That's looking better. So this is what we were talking about. This is the stuff we've already got, this black tubing stuff. Well, as you can see, it's, it's, it's rubber. It doesn't have any foaminess to it. Having a bit of a squish to it will help create more of a seal. So what's happening is water's going off the edge of this, it's going down. Underneath, it's getting past this rubbery seal and then dripping. Oh, it's actually filling up the horrible woody insulation there. Wood and insulation there. That's way too big. That's going to be too big, isn't it? So we just, we bought that just to give it a test, but yeah, that's not going to work. I think it squishes. It might squish down. 
No chance. We just need something that's waterproof. Our engine bay is constantly filling with water. I don't know if you can see your our reflection there. Hi. And we've got a wet vac, but it's just a bit of a pain, isn't it? It's not really a good one. Right, I need to find the wet vac and then get in the engine bay. That's quite a stance you've got there, Bunny. This is my action stance. I can't move. You've not I'm frozen. It's, uh, it's your turn to do the wet vacing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the water's out of the engine bay, so I'm going to have a start on the next job, which is try to clean up the aluminium floor plates. So let's have a look at that. So I'll make a start on the big one today, see how long it takes. Got this wire brush tool, which was recommended to us by, in some of the comments. I'm gonna put a bit of vinegar on as well and uh, see if we can give this thing a bit of a shine. Shine this fella up. Make sure you get a bit of vinegar on that. Good on your chips, good on your aluminium floor stone plate. I'm going to go and try and find the bigger bit for you. It's got a mind of its own. I've probably done about half an hour on it, I don't know. Felt like that. But yeah, it's definitely better. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going at it until all the batteries are dead and that one's charged and the thing is the drill's getting quite hot, isn't it? You said yeah, the drill's like getting really hot. So I guess usually you don't have it on constantly for that long. Okay, well I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, that's super shiny though, it's so good now. You know that belly belly rubs equals Biting and scratching. Why do you like it and then do that, Alan? I don't get it. We're just uh, taking some photos for Benny's album launch tomorrow. <laughs> so he's on the roof with his album. Hello. And his guitar. Here it is. Okay, best take some photos before the sun goes in. Good morning. So it's Wednesday and the boatyard at Shubnall Marina is open again because they've been on holiday. Um, so we're going to head over there this morning so they can have a look at the problem that we think is the drive plate and we've got a couple of coolant leaks as well so we want them to have a look at, at that. We also are going to get some diesel and some gas so yeah it's going to be um, hopefully quite a fruitful trip. We've been feeling like we haven't really been moving that much recently and we want to move a bit more. We've ended up staying in one place for like two weeks at a time and then doing a few miles so we're waiting to get this sorted at the boatyard and then we'll do a bit more distance won't we pick up our pace yeah but we don't really know what's going to happen we don't know if they'll be able to fix it really soon or if we're going to have to wait for parts and come back or what so we'll just have to see what happens yeah. so this is where we're moored up here somewhere I think we're about here actually. Um, so we're just going past Branston, not sure if that's where the pickle's from, and we're just going to here, Shobnall Marina, to the Burton Boatyard. And that is actually where the boat festival was that we went to the other day. Now that that's back on there, you can definitely see the difference. Good work, Benny. Do the other one soon. <laughs> this is the first time in months and months that I've actually been cold. I can class it as feeling cold. So I've got a jumper and a coat on. It's chilly isn't it? Yeah, it's gone from what, where are we? very balmy we're... to a bit of a chill in here. It's the 31st of August today so maybe it's not going to be so warm anymore now. 
Yeah, it's gonna cool off, isn't it? It's been a very nice spot next to Branston Horse Park and the rugby fields. Watch your head. Thanks, I hadn't even thought about that. <laughs> that, would that would have woken me up, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the spirits like to congregate and they say shiny. A lot of shinies. This is our only lock of the day, isn't it? Sorting his hair out, for goodness sake. And he ended up in a bush. Don't tell him that. <laughs> yeah, so the ironic thing is, is we're taking the boat to the boatyard for the uh, drive plate, and it doesn't even sound that bad today. But we're gonna get it looked at anyway. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite nervous, but I'm excited to try and get this, to get this fixed. Okay, we're here, so we're going to moor up outside. I've just gone and checked out where we're getting diesel and it's uh, quite tight, but it'll be fine. And then hopefully the guys from the boatyard will come and have a look while we're getting diesel. Full, please. Full. Thank you. <laughs> Just filling up with some diesel. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? We've got our gas, and the tank of diesel is full. But the boat's sitting so much lower in the water now. I think it was about, yeah, 162, 162. litres. That's a lot of diesel. We just spent £245 on diesel and gas. So, uh, Woo! So yeah, we just need to get an engineer to check out this engine now. That's that then. Yeah, that's yeah. that. 
My pants falling in. Oh my god, don't fall in! Oh my god. Wow! Thank you! Thank you! Fair play, we were all waiting for a splash then. <laughs> sound a little drive plenty but it's not doing the usual normally if you go one way to the other you get even more of a clatter because you're making it slack and it doesn't sit there. but it's in gear and the props turning that way if it stops its natural want is to flip the engine back in the opposite direction possibly why it's bust off from black <laughs> surprised nobody noticed that because we're wondering if it's been there since we bought it um, what the split? We have had a few engineers work on it, you know, that we paid to do little bits and mm. stuff. Yeah, so I'm surprised. If it's been there the whole time, I'm surprised it hasn't been noticed. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's, I think that's a new thing. Because we're talking, we're going to be still talking four new engine mounts. Yeah. With a new, a new bracket for that yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have to investigate what the drive plate is because it's, it's making us out. Is it yeah. particularly new to new engine mounts? That'll be fun if it doesn't. What's that? It's Matt saying it might not need new engine mounts. So it might just be a new um, support leg then? Yeah, a new support leg for a little bit of, uh, a bit of engineering. Okay, so the guys at the boatyard have had a look and they found something else wrong that isn't just the drive plate. That's right. They found <laughs> one of the engine mounts is broken. Totally snapped through. So there's four of those and one of them's broke. So the engine's dropped very slightly. So we were just saying that we were gonna pick up the pace. Well, but no! We've no, we're slowing the pace right back down to zero. I think we're gonna end uh, up staying here. Yeah, because we can move and we'll we w maybe get some water and find a better place to moor, but... We don't want to go far now no. because that is not, that is not okay. Like, it must no be a new in... thing though, because it's the sort of thing I would definitely notice. It's a huge crack through yeah. the bracket that holds the engine on. They asked us if there was a time when you got something bad caught in the propeller. And the last time that we got something caught in the propeller was in May, and it was a huge sack. I'll yeah. put a photo of that in of, now. Um, it was, we didn't know what the heck it was. I thought it was a, a fender when I was shearing it off like through the huge... weed hatch. Yeah. Half an hour later after I freed it, dragged it out onto the towpath. Probably was about 25 kilos or something. At least. It probably it weighed the massive. same as me. It's massive. It was, it was massive. Just a sack full of hair. And then I was like, like, has somebody been collecting their own hair? And well, bagging it up? And this is like the life savings of hair. And they've just said, actually, that's too weird. I'm just going to chuck it in the canal. But no. Their life savings of hair. Yeah, I've seen that before. So anyway. It turns out they use it to prop up the sides of the canal and then plant reeds in, but for some reason that one was just... Floating free. Yeah, it was just swimming around like some kind of aquatic creature. Yeah, it was massive. It was really bad. We never experienced a problem with the getting anything stuck around our prop like that before. I mean, that could have been enough have to been sort it. of jolt it and, and do that. But the noise that the drive plate makes has been happening for a lot longer than that hasn't it it was doing it before yeah that so so it could have already been there it could have been there since could we bought been. the boat could have been but, but that's I a surprise like we because would have noticed it we've what? had people check there's the engine been... mounts though yeah definitely yeah, yeah it hasn't there's been, been engineers in there looking at it we've paid them to look at it and service the engine and stuff so i don't think it's been there that long but apparently it would have made a very loud bang or at least a noise and we haven't noticed anything yeah, well, so that's quite strange but it's quite a big job that's the problem because they've got to replace all the engine mounts and that means like hoisting the engine up and all sorts of things and realigning it and it's quite a, a big job so it's going to cost at least well he said what over a grand didn't he yeah so that's a bit of a bummer because we were thinking it was just going to be the drive plate and that's sort of maybe two three hundred quid or something so yeah bit 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 of a shock bit more than we thought 
Um, obviously, just no idea that that was even a problem or anything. So, but they're really, really great guys here. Really like them. Been recommended them by a couple of people. So, yeah, we're gonna just stay in Burton. They say that they think they can see it, get it, get us in in a couple of weeks. So, there's not much of a wait, really, I guess. So, so we're here for now. We're staying here, and we're going away again next week to another festival and my dad will be boat and cat sitting so if they do end up doing any work while we're away because we're right outside the marina they can take the boat in my dad will have to do some filming of what they do so so we'll just <laughs> that episode will be called dave and alan <laughs> so yeah that's the bad news pretty rubbish Yay. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't done already, check out our other episodes. And please remember to like and subscribe to follow us on our travels. Alan, See you next week, bye! You've got something in your mouth, mate. You've got something in your mouth! How have you not realised? <laughs> so look at yourself.